hello everyone today in this lecture we are going to see some real footage of motor symptoms of parkinson's disease right before we watch that real footages first let us try to understand what are these motor symptoms right see the symptoms of parkinson's disease were first outlined in 1817 by james parkinson himself right the cardinal motor symptoms or otherwise the most important motor symptoms of parkinson's disease that we must remember are hypokinesia bradykinesia muscle rigidity tremors shuffling gait hypomimia flexed posture and dyskinesia so first let's get started with hypokinesia hypo as a prefix means too little whereas kinesia refers to movement so these patients have too little movements and specifically hypokinesia refers to impairment of voluntary movements right so these patients are having very difficulty in initiating voluntary movements in a nutshell people with parkinson's disease they find it really really very difficult to start initiate a voluntary movement whereas normal healthy people can just initiate voluntary movements but the people with parkinson's disease they have to really really concentrate to try and actually start moving right so this is the first part of parkinson's disease cardinal symptom right cardinal motor symptom now these patients somehow they hardly initiate a voluntary movement but these movements are slow that's why bradykinesia means right so brady means slow you know bradycardia for instance means slow heartbeat okay so bradykinesia here refers to slow movements see the first part of symptom is hypokinesia uh they find very difficult to initiate a voluntary movement this is the first part of parkinson's disease symptom the second part is though they try to uh initiate a voluntary movement they find it very difficult but when they do that the initiation of voluntary movement is very slow that is called bradykinesia so let's move on to the next motor symptom that is called muscle rigidity now what does muscle rigidity mean well this means that if you try and move the patient's elbow let's say flex their elbow okay it will be really really difficult to move their joints because their muscles have got tonic contractions that they are really really rigid and they are going to resist the movement hugely okay so that is what is meant by muscle rigidity and this type of muscle rigidity is called cog wheel like rigidity followed by the next parkinson's disease symptom is called having tremors right and these tremors could be resting tremors or postural tremors so first of all what is a tremor see tremor refers to involuntary quivering movements right so here resting tremors occurs when the muscle is relaxed such as when the hands are resting on the lap and with this disorder a person's hands or arms or even legs may shake involuntarily when they are at rest right so these are called involuntary quivering movements and often these resting tremors they only affect the hands or fingers right then what is a postural tremor see postural tremor occurs when a person maintains a position against a gravity see when you ask the parkinson's disease patient to stretch the arms and you ask them to maintain a position against the gravity then these individuals they start to experience tremors 
So as these tremors re-emerges by holding the arms against gravity, it is called a postural tremor, right? Actually, these resting tremors or postural tremors, they could be treated with deep brain stimulation, which is abbreviated to DBS in short. See, deep brain stimulation, DBS, it involves implanting electrodes within certain areas of the brain and these electrodes they produce electrical impulses that regulates abnormal electrical impulses that causing tremors in our brain right see deep brain stimulation it won't cure your disease but it may help lessen your symptoms see if deep brain stimulation works your symptoms will improve significantly but usually they don't go away completely and later on we are going to look at the footage that compares parkinson's disease before and after deep brain stimulation right the next motor symptom is a shuffling gait see you know that gait refers to a person's manner of walking right and here in parkinson's disease the gait is shuffling which means that the parkinson's disease patients they walk with very small footsteps right the next parkinson's disease symptom is hypomimia which is also known as facial masking and what does this facial masking actually refers to see it means that in these patients they experience loss or reduction of facial expressions and this is a common symptom of parkinson's disease see these uh, symptom is characterized by slower and less pronounced facial movements right followed by the seventh cardinal symptom is flexed posture see this motor symptom arises due to the abnormal tonic contraction of muscles that controls the patient's posture and this uh, abnormal tonic contractions leads to flexed posture Lastly, the motor symptom we are going to talk about now is dyskinesia. See, dyskinesia refers to uncontrolled involuntary movements that may occur either with long-term use of levodopa drug or the patient is having or suffering with Parkinson's disease for a long term. Now, you are going to watch the real footages of Parkinson's disease symptoms, right? motor symptoms. Um, April the 22nd, 2010. Okay, and you noticed this tremor here over the last six months or a year? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Nine months. And it's primarily in your left hand and some in your left, left foot? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Your hands out like this. Where it emerges a little bit mm -hmm. out there after a while. Touch my finger with your finger. Touch your nose back and forth like a coordination test. Good. Try your right hand. Okay. Your right hand or left hand? Right. Take your left hand and tap it as quickly and smoothly as you can. Fast as you can go. Okay. That's pretty good. Try each individual finger. Uh, in this one? Uh -huh. Oh, that's difficult. Fast as you can go. Okay, try this one now first like that. Can you see the left hand at the same time? Mm -hmm. Try that now. Good. Okay. Take your left foot and tap it like that about 20 times. Let me show that one. Okay. You're in your right. While you're doing that, can you see the hand too? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Put the hand. So we can look at Come on back now. Okay. Come the day still, I said on the showtime day you wanna act nice. No, uh, that's okay. Let's turn that good little call. Hold your arm straight out like that. Nah, it's trying to be a let. Nothing in your right usually? No, nothing in the right. Okay, and nothing rally, in your leg? Rarely in the left leg. Okay, let me move your arms to the left, okay? Okay. Okay, 
Okay, with your right fingers, I want you to do like this. Okay, and your left ones. Okay, with that left hand, since you already have it up, open and close your hand. Okay, and the right one. Okay. Just like patty cake on your legs. Go faster, even if you mess up. Right leg, I want you to tap your heels until I can do stop. Okay, and the left one. Okay, good. And what I want you to do now is put your arms across your chest and you're going to stand up. You ready? Go. Okay. Turn around, come on back. Come um, hold your arms straight up. I'll show them too, but okay. Yeah. Relax this hand. Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch. Go back and forth. Okay. How about this one? Okay, good. Okay, with that hand, open and close your hand. Okay. Okay, with this thing, tap your fingers. Fast as you can. Okay, open and close it. Okay, go back and forth like this. Okay. okay. Um, with your right heel, tap your heel until I tell you to stop. Okay, and the last one. Ms. Dave, where, you are, where are you in your medicine cycle right now? When did you take your medicine last? Uh, 12, 12, 15. You're about an hour and a half after. Hold your hands up like this for me. Count backwards from 100 while you do that. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, Bring your feet back up in front of you there. Do your finger like that and tap it as quickly and smoothly as you can. It is try the other one. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. Good. How about both hands out like this and open and close? But hold your feet out in front of you. Or just on the floor. That's fine. Okay. And how are you with arithmetic? Take if you had twenty dollars and you buy something for three, how much would you give back in change? Seventeen dollars. Right. If you bought another four dollars, what would you give back? Thirteen. Good. And if you bought five dollars, what would you get back? Eight. Good. Um, so this dyskinesia right now is about average, or you're on the way down a little bit. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming down. Now. Good. Where are the dyskinesia is worse, in the legs or the arms? That's what I thought. I noticed it was pretty active down there. Yeah, Can you take one foot and tap it like that about five times, ten times? Sort of stops it, though. I'm good. Can you stand up? Okay. Let me see you walk towards the door. Okay.